Hello and welcome to this demo. In this demo, you will learn how to use the Marketplace CLI to manage your listings on VMware Marketplace. This tool doesn't intend to be a replacement for the online Marketplace user interface. It is a way to shorten the path to pull in new features, patches, and other important updates without using a browser. The ultimate goal of the Marketplace CLI is to get plugged into automation. Before starting, make sure that you have an account in the VMware Cloud Services Portal, CSP. VMware Marketplace available as a service to use on CSP. At least one solution published in VMware Marketplace. In this video, we will walk you through the process of Installing the latest version of the Marketplace CLI on your local machine. Creating an API token on the VMware Cloud Services Portal. Authenticating to the Marketplace CLI with the API token. Listing all the products you have published on VMware Marketplace. Taking out the information of a specific product. Listing all product versions. Downloading the assets attached to a product. Uploading the assets for a new product version. The first step is to navigate to the Marketplace CLI GitHub repository to get the latest version of the tool. Browse to github.com slash vmware labs slash marketplace CLI slash releases. Select the binary that corresponds to the operating system of your local machine. Once downloaded, extract the binary and change to the directory where the tool is located. Then navigate to the Cloud Services Portal and in My Account API Tokens, click Generate Token. Set a name and the expiration date for the token and click Generate. Copy the token to a safe location for future use. To start running commands on the CLI, you must first authenticate to the Marketplace CLI. To do so, execute the following command by passing the API token you have recently obtained. Let's begin by listing the products you have published in the Marketplace. To do so, execute the product list command. This will show all the products you have published under your organization. The product get command allows you to also display the information related to a specific product. You will see the name of that product, the publisher, the description, product ID, and the assets attached to the product's latest version. Adding the flag version to the product list command allows you to have a complete list of the versions of that product that are available on the marketplace. This can be useful for enabling CI-CD tools for picking a certain version and for detecting when new versions of a product are available on the marketplace. The CLI also provides you with the option to download the attached assets from a product to your local machine by specifying the product and the version you would like to download. Accept the EULA and wait for the asset to download. This option is particularly useful if you have installed scripts to download and deploy virtual machine images and tools. In case a product has more than one asset attached to it, you can also filter by the asset you want to download. Now it is time to see how easy it is to upload your new product versions to the marketplace via CLI. This tool supports the possibility of uploading charts, container images and VMs through the attach command. For attaching a VM, you must attach the local OVA file. If you want to attach a container image or a chart instead, you must either attach a local TGC file or reference the URL of the repository where the chart or container image is publicly available from where the marketplace will pull it. We are going to use an OVA as an example, but you can attach the form factor of your choice. To do so, you will need to add flags to specify the product and the version that you are uploading to the marketplace. Add thus thus create version to indicate that this is a new version of the product and to avoid overriding the existing ones. 
With this command, you are creating a new version of the product in the marketplace, as well as attaching the file to the product listing. To double check that your asset was successfully attached and a new version of your product is available on the marketplace, you can run the product get parameter and navigate to the link displayed in the output message. This will redirect you to the product listing on the VMware Marketplace user interface, where you will find the new version tag as pending, waiting for Marketplace Teams approval. The Marketplace CLI was built to make it easier for our publishing partners to update their products in VMware Marketplace without using a browser. Before the creation of this tool, publishers had to navigate to the VMware Marketplace, fill out the forms, and upload their assets to their product. Now, when a publisher wants to update their products, they don't need to go back to the form and skip sections until they find the one they are looking for. Just by running a command, publishers can update exactly the fields they would like, and the Marketplace team will receive the new version and incorporate it to the product listing. That's all. To learn more about VMware Marketplace and the Marketplace CLI tool, navigate to the links you will find in the description of this video. For additional queries, please email via VMware Marketplace at VMware.com or feel free to submit a pull request to our GitHub repository, github.com slash VMware dash labs slash marketplace dash CLI. Your feedback will help us to improve our product. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter and subscribe to the Marketplace playlist on YouTube. Thank you for watching.